Now we are coming to discussion of the item 6B, examination of the report of Brazil on the current status of an element inscribed on the list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding. This is a similar exercise to the one that we have just accomplished, but in this case we have to examine a report by a state party on a single element. As I understand, this report has been submitted upon a specific request by the committee. Mr. Proshan, could you clarify the context and present these items to us? Thank you, Mr. Chair. As some of the committee members will recall, in Bali in 2011 during your sixth session, the committee inscribed the element Yaukwa, the Enowane Nawe people's ritual for the maintenance of social and cosmic order on the urgent safeguarding list. At that time, you also invited the submitting state party to submit an exceptional report uh, on the implementation of certain safeguarding measures, specifically to ensure that the safeguarding measures regarding the protection of the territory of the Enowane Nawe people are more fully associated with measures concerning the intangible cultural heritage aspects of the Yaqua ritual and to further detail the safeguarding plan in order to define clearly the expenses and responsibilities and to ensure the full participation of the community. The annex to this document provides an analysis and summary of the report that Brazil submitted in response to your request. In the report, Brazil points to the potential threats and negative impacts on the element and its continued viability from the construction of dams on the upper reaches of the river that they're located and the consequent reliance on frozen fish rather than uh, fish gathered from the river. The introduction of fish farming as a source of fish and the advantages and disadvantages that that might offer to the Yaqua ritual. The exposure to pollution of the river system and the lands. The incorporation of petrol as an element of the ritual. Again, the advantages and the disadvantages that are apparent. And the increased contact with the outside world subsequent in particular to the recent efforts of the Brazilian state and particularly to the inscription on the urgent safeguarding list. The safeguarding strategy that Brazil reports here has a dual aim. One, to strengthen the protection of the Enowane Nawe people's environment, and two, to strengthen their material, financial, and organizational capacities in order to provide them the means to manage and protect their land and defend their interests. The report explains that the Yaqua ritual was recognized in 2010 as Brazilian intangible cultural heritage. As a consequence of that recognition, the government has a legal obligation to put in place a 10-year safeguarding plan. As we understand from the report, this long-term safeguarding plan is not yet finalized, but several preliminary actions were identified and reported. One is a kind of an ethnographic study, a state of the, of the art to understand the situation of the Enowane Nawe people. Second was a systematic photographic documentation of the Yaqua ritual in 2012. Third is an important agreement for cooperation between the uh, IFAN, the Instituto de Patrimonio Histórico y Artístico Nacional, and the National Fund Foundation of uh, Indigenous Peoples, to supplement the quality of fish purchased for the Enowane Nawe people, and then a series of meetings with the representatives of the different governmental institutions to formulate a longer term and more comprehensive integrated and coordinated public policy. Um, this seems to be the, the precursor then to defining the specific sa safeguarding measures in the, in the institutional context that will safeguard this element in the long term. 
Um, in general, we note a tendency in the report to focus on protection of the environment um, more so perhaps than safeguarding the ritual. Um, for the moment, in the, re the, the report shows few measures um, or actions that have already that have seen results yet. Um, although clearly there's an orientation toward those in the development of the future safeguarding uh, approach and plan. Um, again, because of the timing of the first the declaration, the recognition by Brazil in 2010, the inscription in 2011, and the development of the plan, it's still underway, and so the report is not yet able to show that the, the safeguarding plan for the 10-year period is fully in place yet. Um, Brazil identifies several major challenges facing it. First is that IFAN, the implementing agency that has primary responsibility for intangible heritage throughout the nation, doesn't have the internal or doesn't have access to external experts on the Enuani Nawe people. Um, the other is simply the complexity of the situation and the element. Um, the safeguarding implicates environmental concerns, social concerns, economic, and many other aspects of national policy and local uh, policy um, that makes the, the task more difficult. Um, there's also the, the challenge of the, the very question of the sustainability of the, the way of life of the Anuane Nawe people and therefore the continuation of the ritual. Um, Brazil reports also that there has been a difficulty to reach the desired level of community participation in this exercise of safeguarding and reporting um, because of several factors. One is simply the remoteness of the location in the bearer community, the fragility of communications, um, both, both in terms of infrastructure and in terms of, of personalities, people who are able to serve as, as mediators and contact points, um, and the difficulty in identifying the representatives of the community who are then able to serve as the, as the interlocutors to the experts and to the, to the institutions. Um, it's apparent from the report the crucial role that IFAN plays um, as the coordinator of these safeguarding measures um, and the importance of their relations with FUNAI, the Foundation for Indigenous Peoples, um, to address the needs of the Inuwane Nawe people. Um, I understand that, that the report was submitted a year ago and therefore it doesn't reflect necessarily all of the developments during 2013, so perhaps Mr. Chairperson you may um, wish to solicit the, the update um, from the, the Brazilian delegation um, to explain some of the progress that has been made since the time of the report was submitted. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Mr. Prochan. I think that this was interesting and uh, very detailed overview of the present task of the report. Uh, developing of safeguarding plans seems to be still ongoing process. Uh, that's made more difficult by certain problems of communication and the need to involve different uh, stakeholders. I think we can be satisfied that the state part uh, has taken uh, in consideration uh, the concerns we expressed at the time we inscribed the file. We may wish to invite uh, Brazil to continue its efforts to further develop its safeguarding strategy and to try to involve the Enaweni Nawe people as much as possible. But at the same time, I think we can conquer with the proposal included in the draft decision uh, and allow Brazil to return to the normal quadrennial uh, reporting cycle. So uh, what is your opinion? Uh, how do you think? Please, Brazil. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, uh, at the outset, Brazil should like to thank the Secretariat um, for this report. 
and for, uh, for the interaction with uh, the State Party of Brazil during the process of submitting um, this, uh, this, this report. Um, the writing of this report, Mr. Chairman, actually faced a number of challenges which are somehow, somehow reflect the challenges of completing and implementing the safeguarding plan. The Inanawe people, uh, which is one of the more than 250 indigenous peoples that we have in Brazil, uh, were contacted for the first time in September 1973, which is rather recent, and they remain largely isolated still. For you to, understand, to have an idea, to access their land from Brazil, the capital, you need to take a two-hour flight to Cuiabá, then a two -hour, another two-hour flight to the nearest municipality, and then seven-hour boat trip to the indigenous reserve. And even to enter the reserve, you need to have prior authorizations by the indigenous. Uh, with the discontinuation of the partnership that we have with the NGO responsible to intermediate the contact with the Inanawenawe, communications became the main challenge, as the Secretariat has, has reported. As a very limited number of people of this uh, community speak Portuguese. It should also be added that women are not allowed in the reserve alone. Um, on the element itself, we believe that the, just thinking of the Yaonkwa ritual now, uh, we believe that the main challenge refers to guaranteeing the integrity of their land and the biodiversity around it as the, as the ritual rarely depends on uh, fish stocks. Um, Mr. Chairman, despite the word Monitoring does not appear in this convention. This is exactly the exercise we're doing now, monitoring the safeguarding of this element. And in face of all the challenges regarding the safeguarding of this element, I must tell you, Mr. Chairman, that Brazil seriously considered requesting the committee to remove this element from the urgent safeguarding list in accordance with paragraph 39 of the operational directives. Nevertheless, Mr. Chairman, recent developments have given us some expectations, perhaps I could even say some hope, uh, that, this, that some solutions may be found. As of October 18th, so uh, more than a month ago, a federal court of law enacted a ruling to the National Indigenous Authority, FUNAI, to review the demarcation of the Nanawenawe's land to include the areas of the Rio Preto River, which is where the ritual takes place. This is, in, in a way, a consequence of the safeguarding measures that we proposed in the nomination file. And, uh, and this is also, in a way, why the, our report is uh, heavily uh, based on the, um, on the ownership of the land. Um, the, Mr. Chairman, the Yananawenawe account for a little more than 500 uh, individuals, two-thirds of which, and I would like to underline, two-thirds of which are children. Um, so we're now, the government of Brazil, IFAN, is now developing a new approach to deal with, uh, with the Yananawenawe by means of actions and measures uh, aimed at enhancing their language. We believe that it's, it's through language that we can reach their culture, and by reaching their culture, we can safeguard their element. Uh, we are, we, it's, it's a long-term process. It will take some time, and uh, we are very much in line with the uh, proposed recommendation of the Secretariat reflecting the draft decision. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, so. Uh, we consider that this uh, draft decision is reflecting the position of the state of Brazil and uh, at the same time evaluates the involvement and support of the Secretariat and all of us to the improvement of the situation. So uh, I would like to ask to put the draft on the screen. I command Burkina Faso, please. Merci bien, Monsieur le Président. Je voudrais juste faire un commentaire concernant ce, ce rapport. Je voudrais 
tout cas réitérer mes félicitations au Brésil pour avoir effectivement entrepris donc la sauvegarde de cet élément-là. Euh, depuis 2010, à travers déjà son inscription au plan national et également à travers son inscription sur la liste de sauvegarde d'urgence. Je crois que cet élément-là mérite bien de figurer sur euh, cette liste, même si en face aux difficultés, le Brésil avait effectivement pensé à un certain moment pouvoir euh, le retirer. Mais je crois que également cet élément-là, ce rapport-là nous permet effectivement de pouvoir euh, euh, nous poser effectivement un certain nombre de questions sur euh, notamment ce critère euh, U4, euh, U3 et U3, donc de la liste de sauvegarde euh, d'urgence. Parce que très souvent, effectivement, lors des sessions du comité, ces critères-là ont fait l'objet de nombreux débats et souvent on a eu l'impression que pour certaines délégations, euh, ces critères-là allaient de soi et que les mesures de sauvegarde donc, envisagées par l'État parti ou décrites donc dans le formulaire de candidature, allait être mise en œuvre de façon aisée. Et souvent, la réalité, effectivement, nous enseigne toute autre chose. Cela pour dire simplement qu'il nous faut effectivement euh, faire avoir un travail préalable avant donc la soumission de nos dossiers de candidature. Il nous faut également donc avoir toutes les concertations, toutes les, euh, euh, tous les consentements nécessaires pour le faire. Je sais que le Brésil, effectivement, donc avec cette décision-là, certainement, donc la justice va pouvoir avancer beaucoup. Mais c'est une interpellation, voilà, pour que effectivement nous tenions compte des critères lorsque nous examinons donc les dossiers pour inscription. Il ne s'agit pas donc euh, de contester, comme les deux organes souvent le disent, euh, la valeur intrinsèque de l'élément, s'il mérite de figurer ou pas, mais c'est de s'en tenir effectivement à ce qui est contenu dans le formulaire de candidature. Merci bien, Monsieur le Président. Uh, thank you. Uh, Indonesia, please. Thank you, Chair. Um, once again, I want to express uh, our congratulations to Brazil for, sub, uh, for the submission of uh, their report. Um, my comment specifically on paragraph 3. Um, we want to make a proposal. I hope th this uh, will, of course, improve the the uh, the language of the, the paragraph and certainly if it's not acceptable to our uh, colleague from Brazil then I wouldn't be more than happy to happy to uh, withdraw it. Um, instead of thanks uh, maybe we can say express appreciation and then uh, on the third line, instead of uh, saying regretting, probably uh, we can say uh, noting. Once again, if it is not acceptable to our distinguished colleague from Brazil, then of course my delegation will withdraw the proposal. Thank you. If Brazilian delegation, they accept it, so. So we can uh, proceed to the improvement of the document. So I declare the decision 8, com 6b approved, adopted. Thank you very much.